Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm diving into the essentials of creating an effective research design. If you're a researcher looking to maximize your efforts and resources, stick around. First things first, the research problem. Once you've clearly defined your research problem, the next step is to prepare a research design. Think of this as your project's blueprint. It's your conceptual framework that guides the entire research process. Why is this important? A well-prepared research design makes your research efficient, ensuring that you get the most information with the least effort, time and cost. Now, let's talk about purpose. Your research purpose can fall into one of four categories. Exploration, description, diagnosis or experimentation. If you're exploring a new area, you need a flexible design that lets you look at different aspects of the problem, but if you're aiming for an accurate description, you want a design that minimizes bias and maximizes data reliability. There are various types of research designs, from experimental to non-experimental hypothesis testing. Experimental designs can be informal or formal. For instance, informal designs include before and after studies without control groups, while formal designs include randomized block designs and Latin square designs. Choosing the right design depends on several factors. Here's what you need to consider. One, the means of obtaining information. How will you gather your data, surveys, interviews, experiments? One, the availability and skills of the researcher and the team. Do you have the expertise to carry out the chosen methods? One, the organization and reasoning behind your chosen methods. How will you structure your data collection and why? One, the time available for your research. Is your time frame realistic for the scope of your study? One, the cost factor. Do you have the necessary budget to support your research? By considering these elements, you'll be able to choose a research design that's tailored to your specific needs. Remember, a good research design is not just about picking a method, but about making informed decisions that align with your research goals and constraints. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more. Until next time, happy researching.